Binance and CZ are being sued by the CFTC over regulatory violations. Joining us now for more is Kelly Lyons, who co-anchors our crypto show, also covers regulation in D.C. for us as well. Kelly, this is the perfect opportunity to meld your two beats. Uh, what's going on here? Well, as you said, the CFTC is the one filing this suit in Chicago today, both against Binance, which is the largest crypto exchange in the world, and its CEO, CZ, for allegedly breaking trading and derivatives rules. The regulator is saying that Binance shirked its obligations by not properly registering with it. We know that the CFTC has been probing Binance over the last several years, really going back to 2021, to see whether it failed to keep U.S. residents from buying uh, and selling crypto derivatives, because remember, Binance and Binance U.S. are intended to operate independently. There has been a lot of question as to whether or not that independence really is there. So the CFTC filing this suit today, but this is just one regulator that has been probing uh, Binance in recent years. It also has come under scrutiny from the IRS related to money laundering rules from the Securities and Exchange Commission and from the Department of Justice as well. So this is just not a, yet another uh, regulatory blow to the biggest crypto exchange in the world. What happens next? How does this unfold? Does it in impact the business on a day-to-day -day basis right now? Clearly, it's going to take a lot of management time to be able to deal with this, Kaylee. Yeah. But, but is this something that is going to have a meaningful impact in the way that Binance operates on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, we're still looking for the response from Binance. In theory, no, much like when Coinbase was re received its wealth notice yesterday, the company's executives, or last week, rather, the company's executives say business is normal for now. Nonetheless, though, it does kind of raise the specter of more regulatory scrutiny after a spate of recent regulatory enforcement actions in the crypto space here in the U.S., and it's dragging heavily on sentiment in the crypto space. You can see it reflected in the price of Bitcoin, which is right around session lows after this news, down about 3% on the day. So, yes, businesses will still be uh, operating, just knowing that there is uh, a keen regulatory eye on them. To this point, though, we don't know uh, whether or not this is going to affect any day-to-day -day operations uh, for Binance, at least outside of here in the United States. Yeah, you know, we talk about uh, regulation when it comes and stress testing, for example, when it comes to regional banks, and just sort of highlights how far behind we are in terms of regulation, say, for crypto stuff. And, and I just wonder what the conversation yeah. on the ground is that and sort of how fast you have to run in places to keep up. Yeah, well, it's important to note that this action is coming from the CFTC. What we've seen a lot recently is actions from the SEC, which is a lot of just jockeying around who exactly has the jurisdictional control here. So much of the enforcement action uh, as of late from the SEC has been around uh, digital assets not being properly registered as securities. There is a huge question around what the proper definition of a security is and how applicable it is to the digital asset space. That's what you have so many crypto companies, the likes of Ripple, even Coinbase, uh, fighting against. There aren't really clear rules of the road here in the U.S. That is something that is up to Congress in theory, and yet Congress hasn't been able to come together and have a consensus uh, around those rules. That's something we're going to be on the lookout for here in Washington in the coming, com coming months. All right, Kelly, thanks a lot. Super appreciated. Bloomberg's Kelly Lyons.